part that's going to be against your skin. Gotcha. All right, the second one, now you've got a glove on. You can't touch it down here. You have to reach in this way with your gloved hand, okay. the sterile part, yeah. to put the part against your skin. Okay. All right, so. What has he got on? He's got a tattoo, tattoo arm? Plate, yeah. yeah. I guess so. He's a gangster. <laughs> okay, his gown was up for uh, the prep when we did the prep. That's fine. But it doesn't have to be all that far up for nah. Yeah, you're just gonna pull it up. All right, and so guys, first you're not thing really we do, gonna frog leg because it's all their business is all hanging. Oh, I was gonna say we would frog leg. We just try to grow right. and we you just can't kinda, get that in. It, it's okay. You just you're so we simulating say, it. but we say it goes here. Do you want us to actually put it in? You'll start to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So first steps. This okay, is our finished. Just contaminated that because I don't have gloves on. Right. You oh just well. Touched it. I was just hoping for the steps. All right. So <laughs> first glove. Well, what do you do first? Because where are your gloves going to be? They're going to be under that. They'll be under this. Okay. I'll see. Okay. Then we got to get me right at the beginning. Well, hang on. We're working on it. Okay. You're just jumping ahead. There you go. All right. Here we go. This. This is not your check off, by the way, because we'll have a new kit and you have to open it. Okay. You don't want to touch all over that. Okay. You want to touch this as little as possible. This right here. You just want to pick it up. Okay, kind of find the corners like this, okay, and lay it down. And then we have to kind of push it up under his butt, don't we? Yeah. I mean, but not. But you don't want to touch. Lot. Yeah, you just don't want to try and touch it all. This is sterile until you touch it. And you want to keep it as clean as possible. So okay. this is just really just to catch the drips. So you can kind of like that. That's fine. All right. Okay. So cool. it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. Now I found my gloves. Place it under the so. duck. Reach him like that. Don't touch anything else. Okay. Uh, I guess that's okay. That's what I was wondering. I was really, you should pick this up. Opposite step here. back. Okay. And put that glove on. Oh, okay. And then leave the cuff like this until I've got my other one on right. Well, that, you, I would I go ahead and pull it through. There you go. Okay, now this one I have to go under the cuff. Mm -hmm. And watch these flaps. Okay. And try not to let it roll. Okay. So okay. Don't Jump. touch yourself. Right. Okay, now the fenestrate goes next, mm -hmm. correct? And this, now I'm sterile-ish, correct? Your, your fingers are sterile, yeah. Open it up above. Fix it first before you get close to the non-sterile skin. Okay. And just lay oh, it okay. over. Okay, so you do put that on first. So that goes on first for a woman too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that plenty? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so then this can go on the bed, right? No. Okay, just leave it there. Just leave it there. At this Casey, point, we I would oh, squirt the stuff over the uh -huh. cotton balls. Uh-huh. And then these, these. Just throw it here. Don't right. touch anything. You just okay. touch your shirt. You just touch your name tag. <sighs> these are sterile fingers, okay? okay? Even though you don't have a gown on, you can't be touching all over everything. Okay. What are you going to do first? You're not going to go over there and prep first. We need to check the foliage. You got to get your catheter ready. Okay. What was your question? When I watched this one time, they didn't do any of this. Now that's contaminated because oh, you just set it shoot. right there. Where should it have gone? How on do I get wrapper. the fully? On the wrapper. You have to pick this up and move it. Okay. Oh, I there you go. This here. Okay. All right. So I would have just lifted this whole thing out first so that I can get to my fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first two drapes. This is going to be out being all bent over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. What's your question? When I, the one time I've seen a catheter done, there what they didn't do any of this, hardly at all, but it was in the emergency room. Is this is the right way to do it. Are you going to see people not use the drapes? Yes. But this is the correct way to do it. We're not going to teach you the quick way. This is the, the right way. I didn't know that because it was in the emergency room if that was no. prior. No, no. You will see in the OR every day them not use any of those drapes. 
Okay, so then that freaks me out. Okay. Okay, that's no, just knowing what they, they so don't always do, the and we know how to do it correctly. And then and to then think about everybody that I know that's, that's had fully. surgery, what's been contaminated. Okay. But it's not contaminated. They still do it. They still prep. Yeah. They still keep it sterile. Now what are you going to do? Well, I don't know where to put oh, this. Yeah, right. Just write down in that box. Okay, it's fine. Yep, in the box. Yep. All right, right in the box. Now, I open the prep. Okay, what else do you need to do to get that fully ready to put in? What else does it need? Lube. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can squirt that in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would pick up mine here. Squirt it in. Squirt that in. And then go ahead and lube it. Mm -hmm. Or wait until I'm just ready to. You can go yeah. ahead and stick it in there. Line Something that, in that there. I find easier when I do a Foley, I just pull this out. I oh, stick yeah. it in there and then just leave it all in the box so it's all together. I can like you leave it. the Foley tip in the lube? Yeah. Oh, I see. Just, just stick, stick it in, in there, there and then and that, put it back in. That way, this is in here. I'm not going to do it because it'll be all messy. Okay. And then that's all in there. That sounds So great. once I'm done prepping, this all goes away. And I just have this box. And then when I'm ready, I just pull it out. Just pull it out of the lube. Oh, I like that. That's why I love Casey. I know. She's easier. got all the good stuff. It's just easier that way. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll take this out. We'll stick it into here. There you go. And then we'll just leave that there. All right, then we take our prep. Uh -huh. Open it up. My forceps. Squirt it all over here. And pick up one. Okay, now stop. You're going to have to hold that penis with one hand. Okay? First thing, are I'm you on the are wrong you, side of the bed? You're on the wrong side of the bed. Okay. But then the other thing, are you going to be able to reach this from way over there and reach that from no, way I over there? No, I want to move this whole stand. Yes, you do. Okay. So we push. So whenever you're getting ready, make sure you're on the correct side and you've got this where you can reach it. Okay. Good call. Before you open it. So now. Now I'd like to move these over here to make it better. My Watch your sterile. You just hit your glove on the table. I did? Yep. Okay. Yes, this is a clean procedure, but you cannot contaminate. Okay? You can't, if you contaminate your gloves, all right, like number one infection in the hospital is UTIs from Foley's. Really? Okay. I was about to say that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> because they get contaminated. Okay. So. You've got so to if do I this. knew I just contaminated, I you would just go. stop and change your gloves. Yeah, but the rest of it's still cool. The rest of it's still okay. Just your gloves were contaminated. Okay, so then we grab the penis, we hold it up, mm -hmm. correct? We start in the center, mm -hmm. go concentric circles. Uh, mm -hmm. How many times? Just not that many. Just around. Just okay, so done. in. Because you've got a whole bunch of, of cotton balls. And then balls. drop this here, correct? Yeah, you can. I mean, this is a sterile drape. Uh huh. Now you've just taken that dirty uh, cotton ball and thrown it on your sterile drape. All right. So somewhere so. else in a trash or in a somewhere else would be better. A lot okay. of times you'll see people that will open their gloves and they'll just throw their trash on their glove wrapper. That makes sense. I like it. Okay, so, so then grab they can another. Work when they're all done. In the center around That's the good. edge. And drop. And drop. In the center, around the edge, mm -hmm. and drop. Is that all one? No, there's two. Mm -hmm. There's two there. Okay. In the center, around the edge, and drop. Mm -hmm. Hold on to that penis with all your fingers. Okay. It's not going to be standing up like that. <laughs> yeah. You got to get a grip on it. Okay. Now just drop, drop your tongs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, grab the whole box, sit it down on that sterile drape. Now, don't touch his leg with your fingers, uh -huh. and don't let the Foley touch his leg. That's why you want to make sure it's all tucked in. Uh, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> now, the Foley's contaminated. Because it's, touch it's touching his skin. Dang it. Shoot. Okay. So, when you put this back in the box, you need to make sure it's all in the box. And you don't have to sit it right between his legs. You can sit it somewhere else. Okay, but you can sit it right there. Okay, just making sure that all of the contents are, are in, in the, the box. box. Could, could just, just as a quote, could you do that? Sure. That'd be all right? Sure. Just okay. so long as all those contents are inside. Because nothing in here has touched anything else. This okay. is all still sterile. Okay, so at this point, we're going to grab this. You told me a couple inches back, mm -hmm. right? About like that. 
because what you don't want to happen is as you're putting it in, you do not want your gloved, sterile hand to touch, his... to touch the skin because yes. now your hand's contaminated. Right. This is all still sterile. You want to keep that fully sterile as okay. it goes in. Okay, so then we just kind of gently push. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get, when you get close, you back your hand up. Yep. And push. And for men, most of the time, they will go all the way up to the where it wise off. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you go all the way up. Oh, off. Okay, well, I've reached a stopping yeah, point Yeah, that's here. fine. And what so would you look for? Point, yellow gold. You have to see right urine over there. before you inflate the balloon. Okay, now. At this point, for our purposes, well, for any purposes, use that hand mm -hmm. to grab a hold of the foley at the end. Okay. Because you're not going in any farther. Not on the tip or? Right there, yeah, okay. because you want to hold it in place. Okay. And inflate your balloon. Okay, you stop, oh, oh, slow down. Okay, it's that's okay, it's place. not gonna go in. Okay. But then what would you do? Um, now it's gonna stay, it's not gonna come out because your balloon's inflated. Oh, okay, now that it's in place. You can let go there. Okay, okay. and then take this off. Yep. And drop. That's fine, it's, okay. you're done, it's in. Yeah, it's done. So you don't have to worry about things being sterile anymore. So at this point. What you wanna do first, once that balloon's inflated, is pull it back slightly to make sure it's sitting against the wall of the bladder. Pull it, the pull little it back. tug. Any foreskin, any skin you pull back, you would pull down. Okay. Okay, and then go ahead. And then just bring this under. Under the leg. Under the leg. Julia was talking yesterday about uh, sometimes you have to like irrigate the bladder. Yeah. What, where would that and go? Anastasia. Huh? Through here. Through here. Oh, okay. This disconnects. Like I was saying, I had to switch the catheters the other day. This has this little perforation right here. This tears off where any catheter can hook up to that drainage bag. This is just the collection oh, bag. Okay. So if you can't get this catheter in, you can still use this bag. You just have to disconnect it. Huh. This is just the collection bag. Okay. okay. You'll also see them just do straight cats for a lot of procedures. Uh, a lot of GYM procedures, sometimes in cysto procedures, they'll just put a catheter in to drain the bladder and pull it right back out. It won't have a bag. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, so like that. for like a vaginal birth, would they do it for that? Because like I... Sometimes, yeah, they'll just put a straight cat in. Because so I can't yeah, imagine... Yeah, just to drain, just to empty the bladder so they can... Right. I had wondered about that because I can't imagine leaving a catheter in during birth. You wouldn't. They just right. did it before. Like when I had Lucy, they just, I don't know how many times they did it while I was in labor, three or four. They just came in and gave me, after I had my epidural, I couldn't get up, you know, just gave right. me it, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, because I can't I recall really ever being so catheterized. I mean, the I'm sure they did it at some point. <laughs> right. With Carter, hard. they didn't. I didn't. They yeah, didn't I mean, me with Carter, if they but did it, I don't know. Did, but I think after I had Carter, I couldn't pee for like almost two days. Oh. I have never in my life.